Welcome back. In this part of the video, we're going to take this survey one step further and make it slightly more complex. Let's have a look again at our Excel list. If you recall, we have a column called Airport ID, we have the airport name, and we have the country. Now what if instead of, like we did in our previous videos, instead of choosing directly the airport uh, through an Excel, an external list question, we first want to ask the respondent to choose a country and then only show the airports relevant to that country. So um, what we're going to do in this video is exactly that. And we are going to utilize a mechanism called virtual lists or in survey to go it's called list sources to generate a grouped uh, virtual list on top of the Excel list and then access that through an external list question. So let's start and do that. The first step would be would be to go to our main uh, survey node, head over to the advanced tab and click on edit list sources. Now when we start off a survey we do not have any list source so we're going to click on the plus sign to create another a new one. We're going to call this list source and remember list source is a virtual list that sits on top of your Excel list. So we're going to call that countries. And in the code that generates this list we're going to put in the following. The fill from store function which takes um, the airport's additional data lists then specifies that we want to group by the country field and the text field that we're going to display is country. The value field will also be the country. We do not need to do any wearing in terms of SQL um, where clause and no ordering because it's going to be ordered alphabetically by default. We also do not need any default group by because we're overriding it with a group by of the country. So if you're familiar with SQL Server group by, this fill from store overload allows you to specify the airport's data list as the source and then group that by a certain column. In our case it's going to be the country column. So while once we have this country's uh, list source defined, and I'm going to click on OK, now we can go ahead and use this list source. So we're going to add a new question. We're going to choose that this is an external list question. Then put in the question text, choose country. And then in our answers, we're going to say that the external list is not an additional subject store, not an additional data list, but rather a list source. And then we can choose the relevant list source from what we have, and the countries is the one we just defined. So we just need to set it to single choice, and let's make the rendering an autocomplete list. And let's have a look at how this looks like in the emulator. So immediately we see the first question which is choose country and then we're going we're seeing all the relevant different countries that we have in the Excel file and it's grouped so every country only shows up once. And so if I start um, to put in a country name we can see the actual country. Okay so that's, that's just step one right because we just shown the countries. Our next step is going to show only the airports of the chosen country. So mind you, the chosen country will be stored as the answer of Q underscore one, which is choose country. So our next step would be to create yet another virtual list or list source and use this chosen country as an input to the different query that's going to run to filter out only the airports of the individual country. And let's see how we're going to do that. So we're going to click on edit list sources. Let's make this screen slightly bigger. And then we already have the country's list source. Now we're going to add another one. We're going to call that countries airports. And we're going to put in the code that looks like this. 
So we're accessing again the airport's additional data list, which is our Excel list. This time, our text field that we're going to show is the airport name. The value is going to be the airport ID because we're choosing airports. But in our WHERE clause, we're going to only filter the um, airports where the country column equals the answer to Q underscore 1. So this line right here, the country equal uh, answer Q underscore 1, that will be our major filter which will only show us the airports of the relevant country. Now we don't need to put in anything in the order um, clause because it's going to be ordered alphabetically anyways. If we do want to change an order by a different column we can put the column name right here but in our case it's not necessary. So we've just defined our country's airports and so if I click on OK now after choosing the country when we're going to choose the airport, instead of just showing the entire list of airports as we did earlier by choosing an additional subject store and the airports as the store, we're going to change this to now work with our list source. And the list source that we're going to use is the country's airports. All right, let's check that in the emulator. So the first um, question that comes up is the country um, as before. So we're going to filter out by France. And once we click on that, we're getting to our second um, question. And now the airport that we're getting to choose is a subset of the previous list, only where the country column equaled France. So we're going to see we're seeing Bordeaux and Charles de Gaulle, etc. And if we go back, to the country column and change that maybe to Belgium, we're seeing now the airports of Belgium, right? This is dynamic because if you recall, the list source actively filters by the answer of question number one. And so each time question number one changes, the uh, output of that list source changes as well. So if we now choose Brussels Airport, the survey continues just as we did before. You chose Brussels Airport code BRU and our next question to country works as well. Now you're not limited to only one set of hierarchies. Um, assuming you have multiple hierarchies like in our case in our Excel we have both the country and the city. You can do that with the list sources to make it as complex as you wish or as many levels as you wish. And I'm going to show you how to incorporate the city in addition to the country. So you, you guessed it. We're going to add another um, list source, in this case, the cities. So let's go head over to the list source. And, and again, just reminding you, we're going to ask the country, then the cities relevant to the countries. And then we're going to show the airports relevant to those uh, cities uh, only and not all the airports of the country. So we're going to head over to the list sources and we're going to add another list source. And we are going to call it countries, cities, and the code, let's make that a little bit bigger. The code is going to read uh, fill from store. We're going to use our airports additional data list. We're going to group by the city. Um, value is going to be, or sorry, the text field is going to be the city. The value is going to be the city. The country, we're going to filter only the countries that are chosen in our Q1. And then we're going to group by the cities. So very similar to our. Um, airports earlier we're going to filter by the countries and it's kind of like an, uh, an, an, an combination of the country's airports and the countries because we're grouping by the city like we did with the country but we're filtering by the country like we did with the ex, um, airports so we've added this list great now let's add another question an external list question again it's an external list we're going to put in here city 
and in the answers we're going to choose our list source and the newly created uh, country cities all right let's check this out in the em emulator so first comes up the country let's choose France next up we have the different cities now I forgot and let's head over to back to the survey let's make it a single choice and we're gonna render it as an autocomplete list let's hit back to the emulator refresh that and you can see again we have Leon Marcel Nice and if we go back and choose um, Belgium instead we're seeing the actual cities of Belgium so Brussels and Liège but that's only step number one because next up if we choose Brussels we only want to see the airports of Brussels and in here we also have Liège because if you remember our list source just filters on the country so we want to update the list source of the airports to also take into account the newly added filtering of the city let's head over to the list source and do exactly that so we're gonna go over to the survey node go to the advanced list sources and we're going to click on the country's air airports let's make this screen slightly bigger and if you see here again we're only filtering by country equals answer to Q1 so we want to replace this line and add an additional filter to also incorporate the chosen city so let's l replace this line with the following line now we have country equals Q underscore one and we have the SQL server and uh, operator and logical operator city equals answer to question number two which is the city let's make this slightly bigger and you can see I've also added these two at signs at the beginning and this is important because every time you have a line in the where which includes more than just one um, filtering either an and or an or or whatever it is you always have to include those double at signs at the beginning um, this is an internal issue with the parsing but you have to remember that so if you get an error when you're using multiple filtering remember that's because of the at signs but in our case I've added the at signs I've added the end logical operator and then city equals answer to Q underscore two and don't forget I added these um, dashes right here because that's SQL syntax and we've just made the modification necessary in the country's airports list so we're gonna go head over to the emulator and see how that works out alright so let's reset that we're gonna choose Belgium again now we have Brussels and Liège if we choose Brussels we only see the two Brussels airport but if we go back and we choose Liège instead now we get the Liège airport so that's a classic example of how to add two level of nestings from a single Excel file so this could be relevant to streets and cities and countries or um, maybe a product family um, under a brand and then an SKU under the product family or whatever type of multi-level nesting you might have and you can you don't have to stop with two nestings you can add, keep adding more additional list sources or virtual lists that sit on top of the original um, Excel list that you've added that saves you up in terms of adding additional Excel files with those groupings instead because you can do that but it's much easier to do it with list sources or of course you can just go ahead and add additional data lists plus it's important to note that you're not limited to only one Excel file per survey so you can have as many Excel files loaded into the survey as you need to those are all synchronized to the devices so the Excel files that you add here if you make modifications to them all the changes are synced everything is a part of the survey package which is downloaded so you do not need to care about that as soon as you associate an additional data list with the survey that downloads along with the survey script to the devices 
Finally, you're of course welcome to contact our support team at support at support at dublo.com to open up a support ticket. We'll gladly answer any question you might have about list sources and additional data lists.